Well guys, here's a completely off the wall <coughs> schematic. <laughs> Dreamed this one up literally and uh, right out of my head, put it to paper and uh, then I decided to actually build the thing. It's not built on any particular schematic online or anything like that. This is a one of a kind. <laughs> this is a one of a kind thing. Um, yeah. Tuning capacitor, uh, tuning in, tuning inductor, tuning capacitor, uh, 2 in 3904, another 31094, 3904, a 120 to 12 volt transformer, a uh, we got one inductor here, one inductor there. Actually, two inductors, uh, three or four inductors, just five inductors, two variables, um, 4.7k resistor. I have a 10, 10 UH um, inductor on the voltage inputs on these. This in, audio voltage in, in and in. And yeah, this is what I built. Believe it or not, the thing actually works. It's crazy. And I'm hearing. Hearing some SSB transmissions. And RTTY. Trying to get the S meter to work here. Still working on that. But, uh, yeah. That's the coil. There ain't no rhyme or reason to what I got built here. <laughs> but, uh, somehow. thing is working I'm listening to a AM broadcast station here now very touchy tuning Right now I'm running it on a Lakata. Go 12 volts into it. I got her set for nine, but I'm running 12 volts into it just to see. The transistors are literally mounted into the wood. Everything is point to point. There's no circuit board in this thing at all. I just built it to see if I see if I could see if it make it work. If you do oscillate, there's a heterodyne, like a regenerative type signal to it. It's not really a regenerative receiver as such. 
Uh, I really have no idea what I got built there. <laughs> But it's working on shortwave. Crazy stuff. I said, I wanted to build it. Just to say I could. Missed the whole circuit there. You want to try building it? Point, point. That's the uh, one twenty to twelve volt transformer wine transformer I'm using it for audio matching to the headphones so it's about a thousand ohms on one side to about eight ohms on the other so that uh, that works pretty good and Carol Carl he gave me the idea of using a couple uh, inductors on the volt on the power supply input into the, uh, into the circuit. They're down underneath. And as you can see, it's uh, completely point to point. No circuit board under there. <laughs> I'll run it into my uh, realistic SA101 tomorrow evening. Just to uh, let you guys have a listen to this thing. But, uh, all the tuning for the most part pretty pretty tight so if you're looking right at the capacitor here and you're tuning it basically from that position to about right there everything is in that little it starts oscillating right there and she quits right about there And she also oscillates from here to look there. What in the name of God do I got built here, boss? <laughs> So 
So this variable resistor is the same as this one here. This variable is this one here. Main tuning is right here. You got the disc coil here. Is this one here? This coil here. Is this coil here? This coil there. Is this one here? The transformer is over here. I'm surprised this thing actually works. Anyway, like I said, we'll uh, run the audio into the realistic SA101 solid state stereo amplifier tomorrow evening and uh, let you guys have a listen to this contraption. <laughs> oh my god. Would you be like, be like your junk box today? Built that thing. Sounds right, folks. <laughs>